YouTube guys and girls, what is up? I just got back here, kind of started editing the video and realized that, hey, we're in western Oklahoma. The intro video for my video had way too much wind, about 25, 35 miles an hour out there, which it usually is. And I thought I'd make another one for you to get some better quality. Um, kind of what we're doing, I met up with my dad, went out there and uh, he brought his English pointer, Abby, the white and brown one. I brought my German short hair pointer, Sage, they both did really good today. And, uh, so we drove about two hours west of Oklahoma City to Black Kettle, an area that if you're a quail hunter in the state of Oklahoma, you're going to be familiar with. In fact, we had quail hunters out there from Alabama, Kentucky, New Jersey, all different areas going out there to quail hunt. So it's kind of a big deal in the quail hunting, uh, sport of quail hunting. A lot of people know about it. And it's some really good public land. We got into a lot of birds, a lot of coveys, and uh, shot quite a few birds. Um, the dogs worked real good, and I'm just going to let you stay tuned and kind of see what we do. At the end of the video, I'm going to have another video laid out where uh, you can kind of see how to get started. I talk, I introduce you into the sport, how to get started, and uh, what you can do to uh, go quail hunt yourself. Stay tuned. that tree now that's a tree that does not want to be messed with right there Your left. Yeah, I'll take this all the way down, then follow that tree line back to the truck up there. Okay. That's what I do. There's birds back there. Well, there's birds, we'd move back there. Yeah, 
Yeah, maybe we're getting closer to him. I don't know. Dad, Abby's on point over here. Yeah, Dad, she's on point right here. Sage is back in here. I think they're running on them. I think they're running. Bird right there, I should have shot at him. But there's more. Yeah, I had one flush over here. Get them? I don't know. Going real low. Should I missed my shot too. Two shots I took, I missed. There you go. Point right here. Dang it. I missed that one too. You got it? Okay guys, we might try. 
my hair's quite a mess, isn't in that hat. We're gonna go, we might try one more spot here. Um, we're gonna go, gonna start heading back towards the city, but there's another spot about five miles from here on another field next to a lake. There's some water there, and hopefully these birds will be by that water. We might get into it, try one more spot. We'll see you then. guys the first thing I want to talk about here was uh, like I said you want to find a good hunt club or an organization near you that that shares the love of bird hunting you can find dogs and find people that love to talk about dogs and love to sell you dogs as well and kind of this is Western Wings here that's where I first learned about Wahoo Kennels they started Western Wings first it's a bird hunting club where you can find dogs and uh, um, you can find other people who like to bird hunt as well that can kind of teach you things be your mentor and help you uh, help you find Places like Wahoo Kennels where you can buy a bird dog and get, get into the sport on your own. So this is at Western Wings, as you can see. They have a lot of people, a lot of dogs, and they're pretty successful. Second thing I want to talk to you about was uh, you need to go to your, your local, your state wildlife department website. And they can kind of talk to you about um, kind of what the what bird numbers are like in your area. If you're a state that has birds and what kind of birds you have, whether it be quail, partridge, pheasant, or what. See on our Oklahoma Department of Wildlife Conservation website. There's something even on the main news page about, about quail right now. Now here I'm going to take you to uh, Google Maps here, and I'm going to kind of show you where we went. This is Black Kettle. If you're a quail hunter in Oklahoma, you know exactly where we went. This is probably one of the most common places, Black Kettle National Grasslands. But there's tons of public land out west here in Oklahoma we have to hunt. And I mean, you can replicate this just about anywhere, quail or bobwhite quail anyway, or give you the same, just no matter kind of where you hunt them at. And here's a typical area that we were hunting last, hunting well a few days ago, and killed some birds here. And as you can see on this side, this is way too wide open. With just me and my dad and two dogs, we'd never try and tackle this because the birds out there, they're wild, they'll run. But this right here next to it, quail are an edge species. They're going to stay on the edge. They're going to stay along the edge of that tree line right there and stay on the edge of that tree row right there. And then with two people and, and birds and bird dogs, which is two bird dogs and two people, or grab a few friends and, and one dog, you can work those edge lines and work those fence rows and work around fields 
and be productive finding quail without having to tackle a big, giant, wide-open field like that. 